You want to get some video on top dead center today? Hell yeah. Senior. Show them how the real way to find it. So that's what it's getting. Watch this whole deal. It's, it's only about a minute. So we got it kind of roughed in at top dead center. What we're checking is most people just throw the timing pointer on the balancer and they assume that zero, zero. Well, that's not usually the case. It's usually close, but never exact. Um, so after we degree the can, we put it all together. We actually put a real zero here. So we've roughed in zero, kind of half lined it up here. Now we're going to go 20 degrees down in the hole. Let's see, once this gets tight, there we go. So right there. So I'm going to take and screw this down until it touches the top of the piston. And then that's going to be basically down in the hole. We're going to measure it 20 degrees coming up to it, and then we're going to back it up and come around 20 degrees to it, split the difference. Once you do that, you're going to have a real zero. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll show you. This, this may not work out the way I'm thinking. So now we backed it up. It should say 22 and a half. If it did, let's see, what does it look like? It's really close. Really close. So basically, split the difference just by kind of squaring it up a little. Okay, so like that. It's 20. What do we say? So that's 22 and a half. Right there. Yep, 22 and a half. So you'll see on the front now. Oh, okay. So basically, back way and 20 in the hole, and then caught it coming the other way. 
So that means in between here is zero. So you just keep chasing these two numbers until they read the same. Same way you degree a cam to find top dead center. This is real zero. So now we can take this uh, piston stop off, wherever I put my wrench. I'm usually more organized than this, Jordan, barely. Not by much, but barely. So now, if we roll this thing up to zero, you can watch the piston. It's got dwell time. So see, like at two and a half degrees, it already looks like it's not moving. See, I'll bump a little bit more right there. It's not moving at all. That's basically, there's always a few degrees, depending on rod length and stroke and all that stuff is what you call dwell time. That's how long this piston hangs out at zero, right? So you, you think, well, zero, zero. You gotta figure that rod's rotating around the top of the crank and then it's gotta start pulling it back down. So that's why just using a dial indicator here is not accurate. It'll get you close, but it won't. It's not the same as a piston stop. So we roll this around. Okay, now come over here and get you a look at this. This one's actually really close. So your zero is zero right looking up through the top of there so a lot of engines i've done zero will be clear up here at six or eight right so when you set the time and you think you're at 36 you're actually maybe you're only at 30 or maybe you're at 42 you know so that's why we do this it just verifies it's probably overkill on an engine like this because this is a factory pointer but man you'd be amazed keyway cut different in an aftermarket crank balancer printed wrong i mean there's about 10 different ways this thing can be you know, out of whack, and without doing it this way, you'll never catch it. So, anyway, I feel good about that one. It'll time exactly where it's supposed to.